what is repeatedly depicted in this series is a scene where a high school girl presses her chest against a male. Hi, this is Nataro. This time I'll share a controversy centered around illustrations of women with a focus on the protest. Let's explore how the progressive faction defends freedom of expression in the conservative country of Japan. Join me, your insider, as we delve into the story of eight key figures. Oh! For the discerning viewers, you might have a general idea of what I'm talking about. So, let's get started. First, there was an incident involving a subway campaign. The idea was to make a simple character look cute. The result, a, a massive, massive uproar. Her panties are visible through the skirt. She's being forced to endure holding in pee. It's disgusting. The subway authorities came up with an alternative. That's it. They managed to eliminate the wrinkles in the transparent skirt by coming up with a makeshift solution. Why is she still being submissive? She's still holding in pee. It's, it's disgusting. disgusting. Finally, it settled on this. <laughs> if someone sees wrinkles on the skirt as highly sexual, could it be that there's some kind of cognitive impairment? I can't help but think that. By the way, whenever a specific Mo illustration becomes controversial, the otaku brigade always emerges, defending their desires under the guise of protecting freedom of expression. Aren't the rights of illustrators being protected? What about the human rights of this girl? The most serious newspaper in Japan used its entire front page on a Monday morning to advertise the release of a comic. She said, I hope you have a wonderful week. Huh? What's the problem? By the way, the manga's title is Tawawa on Monday. Tawawa is a unique Japanese expression. In English, it might be something like full and plump. Originally used for large fruits, the fact that it's now applied to busts reflects the wonderfulness of Japan's erotic language culture. Media should protect the right not to be exposed to expressions one doesn't want to see for men who don't prefer sexual depictions. The Nikki newspaper affirmed the actual sexual violence and harm towards underage girls. Covering the chest with arms was an attempt to stay within the standards of present-day Japan. Come on, isn't that overanalyzing a bit too much? By the way, what is repeatedly depicted in this series is a scene where a high school girl presses her chest against a male office worker in a train. The male office worker perceives the commuting time with this high school girl as an indispensable healing on the already gloomy Monday mornings. If the protesting faction knew this background, the controversy might have turned into a wildfire. Next is a character created for the revitalization of a regional city inspired by the traditional Japanese ama who die for shells. The local government officially certified this character. That's exactly it. She has a seductive face that attracts men. Her kimono is so open that you can see her private parts. The breasts are reminiscent of nipples. It's, it's disgusting. disgusting. As a result, it lost official certification, but it continues to exist as a local mascot, gaining immense popularity and contributing to the vibrancy of the city. A total of 24 renowned illustrators created masterpieces for an advertisement promoting a certain product. Try to guess what the product is by looking at their works.
correct answer was an advertisement for tights, the established manufacturer of women's tights. At the announcement, the official Twitter account enthusiastically stated, all these lovely illustrations make my heart flutter. But the outcome was... This is just PR for people who like tights girls. Mixing hobbies and work ignores the target audience. It's disgusting. On that day, the stock price plummeted. And even after several years, it hasn't recovered. It's unfortunate for such a fantastic company that faced multiple controversies after this incident. This case involves the prefectural police creating a traffic safety awareness video for children using a female virtual YouTuber as the presenter. Too sexual. Exposed skin and excessive chest movement. Extremely short miniskirt. It's, it's disgusting. disgusting. They gathered 67,000 signatures in opposition and forced its removal. However, the central figures, including the Congress, received hundreds of threatening letters from otaku nationwide. They filed a complaint with the police, creating a fascinating weasel chase. Personally, it feels unfortunate that the historically transformative period where the conservative police tried to break out of their shell was crushed. Next is a female character appointed as the tourism ambassador for a certain city. Her skirt is see-through, and you can see her underwear. Well, so what? The cover of the academic journal of the Artificial Intelligence Society. Don't turn women into robots. Why not? This is a poster for promoting agriculture. Too erotic. Indeed. Lastly, a poster from the Japanese Red Cross Society urging blood donation. I only see breasts. Isn't, Isn't this going, going too far? What do you all think? By the way, in the next episode of Insider Japan, we'll explore what can arguably be considered a part of Japanese culture. Hentai. It's something like this. Thank you for watching. Until next time.